click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to our digital blogger today we're going to talk about lkp securities it's a full service stock broker one of the very few that are listed on the exchange this one is listed on bse bombay stock exchange the total net worth of this company is around 160 crore although they posted a profit of around 1.3 crore last quarter at a revenue of 20 crore we will talk about multiple aspects in this review video for lkp securities including its company background pricing brokerage trading products trading platforms exposure customer service research many other aspects that can help you to figure out whether this particular full service stock broker is suitable for you or not let's get started So as usual, we will start with the company. Background LKP Securities is a full service broker. Well, basically full service stock brokers are the ones that provide you varied kind of services, be it service, be it research, be it high exposure, good trading platforms, but they charge you an extra income as far as brokerage is concerned. So you're gonna pay hefty brokerage charges most of the times as long as you're trading through a full service broker. This particular one has an active client base of around 27,000. They give you high quality research tips and recommendations. At the same time, we also suggest you to perform your own analysis while you're trading through them. They have a wide offline presence with branches in around 200 cities with 2,000 sub brokers and franchise offices across different parts of India. So if you prefer offline trading or want to have a local connection with the sub broker of your stock broker, then LKP Securities most of the times gives you that option. And if, as we just mentioned, the brokerage and transaction charges for full service brokers are going to be on the higher side. So is the case with LKP Securities. Trading products, they've got a wide range. You can trade in equity, commodity, currency, derivatives, listed bonds, mutual funds, investments are also possible through them. IPOs and investment banking. So these are some of the trading and investment products you can use for a your investment goals then we have trading platforms now trading platforms could be a web-based application it could be a mobile app could be a terminal based software it all depends on your preferences which one you want you can even call the broker to place your trade for that matter but as far as technology is concerned this space is getting highly competitive with a lot of stock brokers putting in their focus in technology let's see where LKP Securities fits into the picture. We'll talk with the uh, mobile app first. And for that, we need to head to Google Play Store. So this is the Google Play Store of uh, LKP Securities mobile app. They call it Trade Smart. Now this one is rated at 3.6, very bad, honestly. The industry average is around 4.1. Um, the overall sample size is not that high, 84 people. And out of them, around 22% have rated this app negatively. There are multiple kinds of issues here uh, raised by the clients of this particular store broker as far as the mobile app is concerned. So you might have a problem of slowness or speed. So performance is an issue. User experience can be improved. At the same time, some of the users mentioned that the UI is not that great, the design is not that great, although we did not feel it that way. The UI is pretty smooth, honestly. Um, it's better than a lot of stock brokers. It's not that amazing, but it's not that bad either. The usability can be improved. There are multiple features. For example, if you want to look at your searching of stocks, if you want to look at the net gain or loss, if you want to access your portfolio. Now, these are some of the features that could have been designed well. It could have given a better usability, but more or less it's around an average application with a huge room to improve. Um, we are recording this video in February 2018. The last update this app has seen was in November 2017. So it's been good two, three months. 
that this app has seen an update now that is one big problem with a lot of stock brokers where they develop a mobile app publish it to the clients but then forget about it the only thing they need to consider that the technology focus must be consistent in nature they have to regularly update the mobile app with new features in place and removing all kinds of bugs that are uh, present in the existing version so that is one uh, sort of a feedback for this broker number of installs not that great so we will not recommend you it's your choice it's an around an average uh, sort of a mobile app especially when there is a huge competition far better mobile trading applications are available we have uh, recorded videos on those particular subjects as well you can check them out uh, but this one uh, can be waited for a while if it improves in the future then probably we'll come back and recommend you this one let's check out the other trading platforms of this full service stock broker lkp securities and see whether they are better or not so here we are we are using our digital blogger.com for reference here lkp blue is the terminal based software provided by this full service broker you need to download this install this onto your computer make sure whatever machine you are using has a high configuration because otherwise you're gonna stuck uh, with the speed part or the performance related concerns are gonna fall in place in case you go ahead and use this application number of features are okay uh, it's not that great it's not that low either if you are a heavy level trader then we will suggest you to just take a step back check out the demo and then if it suits you go ahead with this for beginner or intermediate level traders this is an application you can certainly go ahead with the configuration the uh, bulkiness is the only gray area but hopefully by time this gets better for this broker mobile app is something we already discussed not a recommendable application at this point in time as long as they do not really improve the frequency cycle the better focus on technology is not going to help this particular broker and the corresponding clients it has so only word of advice keep your focus consistent as far as technology is concerned they also have a web based browser application no need to download or install this application onto your computer you can use it through your uh, browser itself could be chrome mozilla firefox or safari doesn't really matter on that case even there number of features are limited in nature so you see overall very generic point of view at a very high level the focus on technology is there but it's not that into it yet so that is one thing that this particular broker has to understand customer support yes brokerage yes there are multiple things that you can focus but those are one-time activities and operations fall into place for you but here you have to keep on innovating you have to keep on improvising on things listen to what users have to say and based on that make consistent changes through your tech team so technology wise trading platform wise a lot of room to improve for this broker Moving ahead from technology, let's move on to check about pricing. Now, this is another important aspect from the client's perspective because you're going to see what you are paying out to the broker and what actually is landing in your pocket as profit. Now, to open an account, you have DMAT and trading accounts. Both cost you 250 rupees each. Total account opening at LKP Securities is 500. Maintenance fees is 220 rupees. This is a recurring cost. You have to pay to this broker on a yearly basis brokerage now this is the biggest make or break kind of a thing whether the broker is value for money or not brokerage is one that particular metric that decides that for you now in this case you're gonna pay 0.5 percent for delivery for let's say you trade for 1 lakh rupees 500 rupees goes into the pocket of lkp securities irrespective of the fact you make money or not 0.5 percent of your trade value is going to lkp securities for delivery trades let's check out the other values for a complete understanding so these are the values we are again referring our digital blogger.com here now 0.5 percent is for delivery in other segments it goes down to 0.05 percent option trading is at 50 and 30 rupees respectively depending on the kind of uh, trading segment you pick now these are brokerage values here but how do they convert into numbers let's use brokerage calculator to understand that so again we are at uh, the brokerage calculator of lkp securities we have done it for multiple stock brokers now in this case we will check out the calculation for this particular broker for example we will go ahead with delivery trade under equity you just have to put some value let's say you bought a stock for 1000 rupees you sold it for 1100 um, at a delivery level number of shares be 100 and your state is andhra pradesh click on calculate you get everything 
right in front of you 2 lakh or 10,000 is your turnover 1050 rupees that is 0.5% of this particular number is the brokerage now this goes to LKP securities STT goes to the securities and transactions so whatever security in place is goes to that 210 rupees then there is SEB fees stamp duty goes to the state um, it varies uh, if you change the state so it, it's not a fixed number transaction charges is 6.83 and the, the newly introduced GST goods and services tax is 190.23 so this is what you actually end up paying now if you go ahead and uh, you keep the delivery rate for more than one year you're gonna pay 10% LGST uh, long term LTG uh, sorry long term capital game LTGC and that particular number is gonna be added up here out of your profit all right that's gonna be from this chunk and you're gonna pay that amount to the government and keep the rest to yourself now this this calculation can vary uh, depending on the segment we pick and based on that you're gonna end up paying the specific values to this broker here as you can see the values are pretty high um, it's relatively expensive if you check out some of the other stock brokers but expensive or cheap does not really matter as long as the broker is bringing you the value the kind of value you are looking at so comes down to what you want then we have exposure or research for people who do not understand this concept basically it's kind of a short term loan the broker gives you a loan trusts you and um, based on that you can place your trades for example if you trade in equity intraday you get 10 times from LKP securities 10,000 in your trading account balance you get 10 times for intraday so you can actually trade for more than uh, 1 lakh rupees because you're getting extra exposure at the same time uh, you have it for equity futures smaller values not so great um, it really depends whether you want exposure in the first place or not and if you want it how much you want it you can always negotiate it with a broker but these are standard values right in front of you you can go up or down depending on your negotiation skills or um, the kind of profit you've been making through this broker then we have customer support now a lot of people overlook the importance of this aspect but this comes into play when you actually need it when you're stuck with your trade you want to get to the uh, executive right away the, the call connects but nobody picks up so I'm not saying about LKP security but generally the kind of importance and customer support um, need is not really given it to um, this particular aspect now in this case you get phone support you get email support you get offline branches so we mentioned at the very start they have presence in around 200 cities of India that's pretty good uh, first second third tier cities as well so as long as you are looking for an offline assistant you, assistance you will not really complain a lot because you have uh, the resources for you but if you're looking for a quick help if you want a quick turnaround through an email or a chat service it's gonna take a while chat is not there in the first place but the turn time of email support is around 24 to 48 hours which is a standard rule but they don't really uh, get to you get back to you in a quick time so you have to wait there but overall customer support is below average on the online front offline front it's good then we have the research part and for that we are again back at a digital blogger now look at the screen look at the uh, kind of uh, offerings they have now within equity there are multiple types of reports at both intraday and delivery level so be it short term investment or long term uh, investment doesn't really matter you, they help you with IPO analysis, mutual funds or not, um, investment banking, currency reports, commodity daily reports, performance tracking of specific stocks and indices. Now they have an exhaustive range here from, from quantity perspective not a problem. Even from a quality perspective they are doing a pretty good job uh, especially better than a lot of other full service stock brokers. They, let's say they are in within the top 10 stock brokers who provide decent research to their clients. So as far as research is concerned you can certainly trust on them but with a pinch of salt make sure that you perform your own analysis on top of what they tell you and be sure before you put your hard earned capital in the stock market for trading finally let's talk about positives and negatives of opening the account with LKP securities let's start with the negatives first so the brokerage we just saw is pretty high so from that perspective you have to see whatever preferences you have whether this broker is value for money or not transaction charges are relatively high too trading platform is an okayish area around uh, gray as far as the focus is concerned so certainly they need to improve on that at the same time the customer support um, especially at the online level needs to be improved positives they have trading platforms 
although they are around average but the better point is they are doing it in house a lot of stock brokers outsource that activity take away that responsibility of their theirs as far as focus of uh, technology is concerned they, they are doing it on uh, by themselves so the control is in their hands and it's not played with a third party then the research part is good you can certainly trust them with that offline level yes they are a conventional full service stock broker still stuck um, they haven't really moved on to the online part yet but people who prefer offline trading uh, they have a good option here then multiple trading platforms rather multiple trading products there is a wide range here be it equity commodity currency derivatives they have got all covered from different perspectives so these are different areas we could have talked about now you have to see what you want based on that you can make a final choice for yourself if you want to have a detailed check of this review you can check our website earnedigitalblogger.com slash trading slash lkp securities review if you want us to help with a stock broker that matches exactly with your requirements and the link a digital blogger.com slash free stock broker suggestion we will be putting out these links in the description of the video thank you so much for watching this video we hope you liked it in case you did please go ahead and press the like button we'll really appreciate that you can also subscribe to our channel a digital blogger if you have not already for videos on stock market daily updates reviews training platforms advisory services multiple things we cover thank you so much bye bye